Hello, in this problem we're going to find the equation of the tangent plane at the point 1, 2, pi over 6. So looking for the equation of the tangent plane to this surface solution. So the very first thing we're going to do is set it equal to 0. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. Minus 1 equals 0. Okay, so recall that the equation of a plane is pretty simple. It's simply a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times z minus z1 equals 0. This is the equation of a plane where x1, y1, and z1 uh, are a point, is a point on your plane. In our case, it's just going to be these numbers here. And then a, b, c, this vector is perpendicular or orthogonal or normal to our plane. So we just have to find ABC in this problem and we're done. So for the tangent plane, if you call this piece here big F and you find the gradient of big F, the gradient of big F at this point is going to be our normal vector. So let's compute the gradient of big F at x, y, z and then we'll plug in the point and that will be our normal vector and then we'll use the formula. So again, for tangent planes, you set it equal to zero, and you want to use this equation. You use your point, and then the gradient is going to give you the normal vector. So the gradient, I'm going to write the formula down. It's fx at xyz. I'm going to omit it out of laziness, but I'll write it. fy at xyz. fy is the partial with respect to y. fx is the partial with respect to x. And then fz is the partial with respect to the variable z. Okay, so when we're finding partials, the way it works is partial with respect to x, everything is constant except the x. So this y sine z, it's, it's constant. So the derivative of x is 1, so we simply get y sine z. And then the derivative of negative 1 is 0 because it's a constant. We're looking for fy, so everything is constant except the y. The derivative of y is 1, so we're left with x sine z. And the derivative of negative 1 is 0. And then fz, again, everything is constant except the z. So this time we're taking the derivative of sine z, which is cosine z, and the xy hangs out. So we have xy cosine z. Let me just double check myself because I have not done this problem before, so let's just check. Partial with respect to x, derivative of x is 1, boom, this is left over, that goes away because it's a constant. Looks good. Partial with respect to y, derivative of y is 1, that hangs out, that goes away, good. Partial with respect to z, the derivative of sine z is cosine z, and we're left with that. Everything looks good. So the only thing left to do is plug in our point, which I'm running out of room here, so it's 1, 2, pi over 6. Let's plug that in to our gradient vector and see what we get. The gradient at 1, 2, pi over 6. Okay, so this is going to be y, which is 2, and then the sine of pi over 6. We'll do it in steps. I'm going to write it all down very carefully. And then x is 1 times, again, the sine of pi over 6. And then xy, so it's going to be 1 times 2, so just 2 times the cosine of pi over 6. Just like that. Very nice. This is equal to 2. So the sine of pi over 6 uh, is 1 half. Okay, so this is 1 half. 1 half. And the cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 over 2. Cancel. Cancel. So we're left with 1 1 half square root of 3. That's going to be our a, b, and c for our plane equation. So let's go ahead and write down the plane equation again. Let me switch colors here. So we have a times x minus x1 plus, and the nice thing about you thinking about it this way is that if you're, if you're studying this, you've already seen the equation of a plane so it's kind of like, oh yeah, I get to use the same formula I used before, 
except now I'm going to use the gradient as my normal vector. Again, the key thing is you set it equal to zero first, and then think of that as big F, and then compute your gradient. Really important. It's a step that oftentimes people forget to do. And our point, uh, I have lost it. Oh, it's right here. So that's our x1, y1, and z1. So it'll be a, which is 1, times x minus 1. This is x1, y1, and z1. Plus b, which is uh, 1 half, times y minus 2. Plus uh, c, which is uh, square root of 3, times z minus pi over 6. And that's equal to 0. And I guess we could leave it like this. Uh, we can clean it up a little bit maybe. Let's see. X minus 1 plus then 1 half times Y is 1 half times Y. And then this is minus 1 here. 1 half times negative 2 plus square root of 3 times Z minus, uh, we write it like this, pi over 6 square root of 3. And that's equal to 0. Let's keep going here. We've got X plus one half y got that one that one and then plus the square root of three z that one and then here we have a minus two and we have this piece here so i'm going to put that on the right hand side so so two plus i over six square root of three and that should be the equation of the tangent i hope this video has been helpful and hopefully Hopefully some of it made sense and you've learned even just a little bit. Good luck.